I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, I let it die, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, If you're new, <laughs> if you're new, welcome, 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 and if you are returning, you is a loyal one. Oh my gosh, the lighting, the lighting is really cute in here. I'm gonna start doing my makeup in here. And open this blind a little bit because it's giving dull. But <clears throat> I'm editing a vlog. Wish you guys would have seen this vlog, this vlog first before this one. I just posted on Instagram, right, guys? Ne? I'm about to end this talking bit right now. But I just posted on Instagram. I am so hopeful about this year. Literally, I feel like there's a lot of God that is going to happen this year. Like, guys, I just feel like it's a year we're going to attain a lot. Especially me, myself, and I, and my boyfriend. Like, I just feel like we're going to attain a lot you know like we've put a lot of stuff on paper we've, you know and i started by executing some of my things from last year late last year so that when i start the year i'm not starting with everything from scratch and feeling overwhelmed so at least i went into the year with a few of the things i want to achieve this year already executed baby steps but executed already and I feel good. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not anything. But the only thing is, guys, I am so anxious about feeling so good about this year because this is how 2020 started. With 2020, I was so, so excited for the year. I felt like I am going to achieve every dream over that I had. I felt like I was about to... Girl, I felt like... It was gonna be the best year of my life and it was supposed to be according to me but then everything happened the way it happened you know and it's crazy like it's really really crazy and also i don't talk about this and i've never spoken about it on here but people used to people don't ask me anymore but a lot of people used to ask me about what happened with my previous boyfriend and I get that also because I didn't speak about it on here. Um, I think I did more of a not speaking, but I did, I guess speaking, but I did a, a more of detoxing and mourning that relationship on Instagram instead of on YouTube. And on YouTube, I did not speak about it at all, which is also unfair because if you think about it, I didn't post my relationship on Instagram barely ever as much as i did on youtube so if anything youtube is the outlet where i should have gone out but the thing about it is so what happened is that he passed away right the beginning of 2020 um we went on the vacation in Mpumalanga, which i posted the vlog and then he passed away did i post that vlog i actually did hey when did i post the numbers are not numbering. The dates are not dating. Yo, when did I post that vlog? It's actually so interesting. Now that I think about it. Yo, that's crazy. I did post it, but when? Does it tell me which month? I posted it in April. Oh wow, that must have been a tough time for me. I posted the vlog in April, but he passed away in February. Um, so I went through that. Then, whilst in the midst of that, COVID hit, and like seriously, COVID hit, and then there's that, and then everything else. 
so we know how that year went but like it was a lot and my thing is that i felt so enthusiastic and i was so hopeful about that year so i literally i'm sitting here right now thinking about it and i have literal ptsd because guys i'm anxious i don't want to cry Please, is this how people that live with like chronic anxiety? Because that's not nice. But anyway, how they feel. Literally, guys, I am so anxious. But also, I have these dreams and I really, really want to smash all my goals for the year. So I think this is just something I need to actively pray about. Because I know that there's no scripture in the Bible that i believe in and i'm not a, i'm not someone who suffers from anxiety at all if anything i'm the most chilled person i don't stress about nothing even if it's stressful i don't really stress about it because i believe in the verse philippines 4 the 6 i'll put it on the screen but if i paraphrase it says do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition and in thanksgiving present your requests to the lord right it would be really dope if i put that word forward <laughs> if i said that word forward or quoted it word forward but i believe in that scripture that verse basically like philippines verse 4 as a whole <sighs> what a what a philippines chapter 4 sorry not verse 4 chapter four so chapter chapter four verse six right um but philippines chapter four as a whole mwah, mwah, mwah. beautiful so um yeah i really really believe in that and that's why i'm not anxious about anything ever i've been through a lot especially from 2020 i'm through a lot but none of it like very scary stuff outside of what i've mentioned and I was not scared at all. And while I was going through the things that we were going through, I always told my mom, you cannot be scared. You cannot be afraid. You can't. And yeah, I'm just, that's what I'm saying. I'm not someone who's anxious at all. Anyway, this is so long. 17 minutes, but it was so necessary, I feel. So just let me know in the comments if you're also going through the same thing where like you have ptsd from 2020 and you're hopeful about the year like but anyway my advice is let's pray about it guys like all of us that are feeling the way let us pray about it we need to pray about it we need to pray about it we need to pray about it hard even and get rid of this anxiety and make sure that we actually smash those goals and all of us if we can come back to this video at the end of 2023 and say we attained everything we did not let that anxiety get in our way because the devil is a liar the devil is a liar and wants to distract us with this anxiety and it's not gonna work so let's all just work hard this year work smart get your dreams get in your bag start that course leave the group chat start that business whatever it is please do it like please let's just do it all of us but anyway enjoy the rest of the vlog guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one and i'm back to long nails because in ghana me cool and cool see guys so i increase share my baby's crying he's awake and his nanny is ironing so let me attend to him and i'm gonna start cooking so. okay guys so this clip was obviously recorded a long time ago like beginning of the year and the only reason why i'm keeping it in the video is because it is almost halfway through the year it's literally two days from being halfway through the year and i just wanted to say to anybody who maybe things are not going the way you planned for 2023 it is quite a mess of the year for the country as a whole economically but if whatever is not going right in your life right now 
I included this clip just to give you hope because you know what? Kuzolunga, everything's gonna be okay. Just stay prayed up. Always, always, always be faithful and hopeful that things are going to work out and everything's gonna be okay. So yeah, I just put it in here to let anyone who's suffering from anything just know that it's gonna be okay. We're all going through it. We all have our good days, we all have our down days, we all have the anxiousness and stuff, but it's gonna be okay. but i don't have time it's already 20 past so i'm probably gonna leave here at like 10 to 12 um so yeah but ingani my hair's done ingani is up he's eaten and i have bathed him so it's just me that's left but my hair's done so i'm just quickly going to um i'm just quickly gonna give and go what am I gonna wear? I'm just gonna wear a white top. So I'm gonna wear the skirt. It's a leather skirt. It's pink, and it's also quite hot because in the inside it's from Zara, so it's really good quality. On the inside it has this material, which is like suede. So it's a very hot skirt, but I want to wear the skirt today. So I'll see what top I wear. I'll find a top, but anyway, let me quickly just get that and be out. Um. I'll probably see you guys when I'm back from this whole thing. Yeah. But I hope I can finalize on any situation by tomorrow. Um and wrap it up. Yo stress. Hey girl. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. Definitely the table. I need to. I need to. Okay. Okay. Definitely the table. The hill, ne? The hill. The diamond. This one. I'm actually low key a burger person. Right? The what? A burger person. Like I love burgers so much. And it started when I was pregnant. And that craving just is not going anyway. 
Where do you find good burgers? Come on, come on, ribs and burgers. Is it? Yo, there's some amazing burgers. Like, yo. Ribs and burgers. Mm. I've never even tried their ribs. Yeah, and then like my thing, yeah, the ribs just uh, it went away. Right, give me a burger, please, anything. But I really wanted lamb chops today. <laughs> Why are these things wrong. LED burger day two? Why is it two burgers? <laughs> that should be. Really definitely. Hey, Coleman hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprints to Quebec. Shelly, Ue, and Mobeck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 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 She want me to play with that cat. Hey. She know how I make it on wet. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. Everything is put to rest, and everybody takes a breath, and everything gets addressed. It's you alone with your regrets. All that pumping up your chest, all that talk about the best. You know how sticky it gets. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. Today's look. My eyeshadow was actually very nice today. Sun Bonani, hello. It's been a long, long day, but I took my flight. Hold on. That's much better. Got on my flight. I missed my first flight. Well, I didn't miss it, miss it, but I could foresee myself missing it. So I was going to change my flights for me and give me a later flight. And they gave me going like an hour, 15 minutes later. Yeah, an hour. 20 minutes later flight and i got that one i was on time for that one da, 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 da. i was so hungry guys yo i hadn't eaten all day i was mad hungry so i went to villa cafe and i got a, a red cappuccino and a chocolate croissant because wherever they sell a chocolate croissant you best believe i'm gonna have a chocolate croissant 
so i'm in my hotel right now i'm about to do a quick room tour because i don't think i've shown i come to this hotel it's only one time i've came to durban for work it's only one time i've been to durban and i did not sleep in this hotel at this hotel now the funny thing is i am in the same exact room <laughs> that i was in the last time i was in durban well not, yeah no yeah the last time i was in durban which at the time i was three months pregnant it was september 2021 i was in this exact same room with my boyfriend so at the time i was three months pregnant and he was coming from home he had just told his parents that i'm pregnant um because he's from kzn okay, obviously you guys don't know this because i don't talk about him but he's from kzn so he was home so i was in i was coming to durban for work so he came down to durban and he joined me here and we stayed here for i think it was four days or something three or four days i think it was four days three nights and then i left and he stayed in durban and went to his sisters and i went back home but the funny thing is it's this exact same room like room guys this it's crazy i was like when i came in i'm like hold on and i look at the dome like and then i went to the view to the sliding door and it's the exact same room crazy but anyway i'm staying at royal palm so my boyfriend says because he's he's familiar with durban he studied here and stuff he says that this hotel is famous for you know what you know like you know what <laughs> for old men bringing amanda mazana here so i'm like i don't get it i like the hotel um i like the, the the way they the hotels are built designed i think i like the design of the hotel so i'm just like if people are judging me for walking into this hotel thinking that i'm here for my sugar daddy then okay how's that any of my business I don't care but anyway this is the door because i don't think i've ever done a room tour here um ever it's just crazy and if i did i'm sorry this is for the newbies thing but anyway that's the door right so i walk in and then kitty wardrobe more so it's all of that storage and this is where i always put my luggage and stuff the side it's hangers right so i always under safe i always i always i always put my stuff in the wardrobe but anyway here's my bag you know this is big ass mirror which is my favorite part about this hotel like why is there such a big big mirror and then okay that's just my laptop bag there's this huge hallway but okay first we have artwork on the left on the right hand side we have a bedroom however you could close the doors so these are the doors let me move back and show you guys the doors so those are the doors right so i could close them without breaking my nails so if you have guests over If you have guests over let me do this properly there we go if you have guests over you close these and this is literally just the whole way so people can't see your bedroom so let's do it that way and then um this is the this area my tv area so there's my couch a lounge chair and a little side table where you put your suitcase a table and desk hmm? a desk and a chair a table and desk yeah a desk and a chair your coffee table side lamp situation cute 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 another lounge that's like a reading chair with a reading lamp and the television so obviously this chair must move out of my way some more artwork cute 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 and then this is then the this is the sliding door so this is the view that i was telling you guys about it's so crazy 
this exact view guys and we went higher we were in this exact same room because i remember the one day i walked in because they give you two cards right the one day i walked in when we were here together with my boyfriend two years ago now i had my own because they give you two access cards or key rooms so i took one and i left him with one and then i came back and he was in the room because my boyfriend can work from anywhere really so he was here and i walked in and he wasn't anywhere in the room but like i had texted him saying i'm i'm on my way back and i was ubering i didn't hire a car like today also i need to show you guys the car that they gave me and my phone where's my phone because they're gonna call me back and then i'll miss the call i need to so short ad break i go freaking hell they called me back i gotta call back now so ad break let me mute hi how are you i'm good thanks how are you good thank you i just missed your call no you, you, uh, okay. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm alright. Okay, you can come to Ngenese to Corolla. Okay, no problem. Right, I'm you. coming. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I requested an automatic car. Oh, the lighting. Yeah! I could do a very cute Q&A here. Ah, oh, I love Royal Palm. Like, there's just something about it. I get it. I get what babe's saying, but you know what? I don't know. I love the lighting. I love the bathroom. is my favorite. I like the bed. I just like it. I like the... I'm going to show you guys. But anyway, quick ad break. I hired an automatic car, ne? Shop. So, I specifically requested an automatic because, guys, I've been driving automatic for so long in my personal capacity that I don't know if I have the ability to balance clutch and brake and change the gear. I'm not sure. And navigate at the same time because I'm in a foreign city. I'm not, it's, it's not make sure. So, I'm like, I requested an automatic and I was like pressing because they don't just give you an automatic, like they don't just give you an automatic honey even if you say because there's a preference box when you're asking for car hire you, you type in in the preference box automatic you get to the dealership you get a what a manual that's what happened to me last time and i almost died in Durban the one time because i had a manual and i was running late because my work ran over time with my clients and my i think my flight was scheduled for like five and like the the airport is not that close here and i almost got hit by a truck yeah i that was the last time i hired a car in durban and i was like never again and i've been ubering since so this time because i was hoping my boyfriend would join me again right so i was like if he joins me let me hire a car because if i'm by myself i'm not gonna go anywhere guys i'm not like that i will stay in my hotel room and just relax my body and you know like that's just me anyway and go to sahara because one thing about love i love about this hotel is when you walk outside you step into gateway more literally and the sahara there is ginormous and love 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 but i'm i'm trying to save money so i'm fooling but anyway the car situation sharp I pressed the matter what I want an automatic and they approved me for an automatic. I get you and this this lady that's helping me calls the manager and the manager comes. I'm just like okay. My skin popping baby popping. I'm actually gonna do a night time skin routine for you guys since I'm here and there's nice lighting. Boom. Mm. Don't be a baby. Mm. I get there and she calls the manager and the manager comes to speak to me and the lady's like ma'am we currently don't have any cars available unfortunately so i'm gonna need you to wait a little bit i'm like i can't wait i have somewhere to go because i did have somewhere to go which is where i'm coming from i'm gonna include a snap here of when i was there at the training center right so i'm like i can't wait i'm actually i need to go somewhere because i know they close there at five 
and that time it's like past two so i'm like mm, angek, angek, angek. so she's like okay i can give you a bus like can you take a bus i'm like take a bus i'm like you guys offer bus bus services she's like no a veto the minute she said veto i laughed out loud because i'm like you want to give me a huge ass car like a veto she's like yeah a veto i'm like babes a veto yonke I'm like, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna have to take him. So I took the veto. I called my boyfriend and he's laughing at me, you know. He's like, don't park where there's other cars behind you, da 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 da, da and stuff like that. Because I'm just like, what am I gonna do with this big ass car? But anyway, I got to the training center and I finished now. I'm at the hotel. And getting to the hotel, I came to the realization that this car needs to go. Because I'm gonna have to drive it for the next two days. Full days. I'm like, Get right i'm okay with it so like you heard she says she has a toyota corolla i'd rather drive a toyota corolla it's a mercedes shop but mm -mm, no landing toyota corolla anyway back to house tour room tour so anyway yeah you guys saw another mirror over there by the couch and then we have a kitchen net it's a kitchen net but like how often do you get a kitchenette in your hotel? So there's, it's a mirror situation. Da, 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 da. There's my sink. This is my coffee station with a kettle. And then we have, I think this is dustbin. Yep. And then, do I not have crockery? Since COVID, they don't give us crockery anymore, which sucks. But anyway, there's a little mini fridge over here. So you don't have to request a bar fridge because you always have one, which is amazing. You don't have to request a microwave. You always have a microwave. And then just a cupboard space in okay? here. So that's, these are, it's a sponge for if you want to sit on those chairs outside. Then there's the sponge. And then another way, another entry to the bedroom. So there's the bedroom. Right, right, right. Bed, bed, bed. Big bed. Me again. Uh, lamp. So the lamp that side is very, you know, lamp. And then the bathroom. This is a bathroom. It has little shutters over here. So if you are in and you're in the tub or in the shower and you're having a conversation, you can unlock the shutters, baby. Um, they actually fold. I don't know why. Oh, I was about to say, why are, are they not folding? But you know what I'm saying? And then you guys can have a conversation love that otherwise if you want your privacy also siamvala oh babes guys love that concept love 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 it took me a minute to actually figure why this is here more artwork so this is the bathtub it's quite a deep one love it definitely going to use her shower humongous towel rail separate toilet i love that and then then it's me again then we have our hairs and her sink that's my toilet bag that's my makeup bag we have our glasses we have a bottle of water soap pocket tissues shower cap which i always take the shower caps because i am a natural haired girl and when i deep condition i use shower caps so i collect shower caps from hotels body lotion in there is shampoo and body wash um yeah you know but yeah and it has a hair dryer but i think all hotels come with hair dryers to be quite honest but yeah that is my room y'all i am about to leave now it is six quarter past 16 16 past six whoa i am about to leave and return this car by the time i come back it will probably be seven and then i'm gonna run over to the mall which is opposite i'm gonna go by foot um i need to get my oh my battery i need to get my parking ticket validated at reception because i'm not paying parking and yet i next stop where's my parking ticket 
so i'm gonna go get oh i actually have to notify them at reception that i'm changing emote because i filled out the car registration i filled out the car registration on the on the the check-in thing the chicken form they have well yeah obviously they have breakfast but they also have, have cake of the day 75 rand i'm gonna get cake from oh this menu champagne very good 2.1 this is just for alcohol wow well there's food my bad there's food in the beginning beef oxtail minted lamb cutlets you i've been craving lamb i might have that but what if it's not good sometimes the food in kzn is not nice because they like to do everything like curry style you know i don't like that thing like just give me regular lamb cutlets like why must you make them curry style devon style anyway i want to come back i want to watch youtube i want to get food i want to watch youtube i want to do i have everything i need i have cocky i have tickets i have key phone mm, camera i'm gonna leave behind but i want to watch youtube i want to wash my face and i want to be in bed and like just relax because tomorrow's work work so i gotta be on top of my sheet and to, i'm trying to i brought my makeup because i want to do a no makeup makeup look so i want to look the lighting here is not as great as in there mm -mm. it's not cute it's not make sure yeah i want to do a no makeup makeup between tomorrow so i need to watch a few videos to get that together because but i don't use foundation and it's not make sure we'll see but yeah guys that is my driving a mercedes for it's not six or four hours it lasted me four hours but it's because it's a veto honestly no i'm going to get, get my corolla and then come back i'm gonna buy food buy the mall i'll probably get mcdonald's or nando's but i want something hearty so i might do nando's i might do nando's because nando's with that garlic bread whew, a moment for garlic bread con nandos a moment but anyway let me go you guys by tongue anyway i'll probably see you guys like tomorrow tomorrow morning when i show you guys my skincare routine um because i'm gonna do my skincare now at night but the only thing that's different is the moisturizer and that i don't put sunscreen and i need to prepare for tomorrow like my outfit unpack my bag and stuff like that i packed a small bag for the first time i packed a small bag and it seems like it's gonna work guys let me go time is running out let me let me be let me be leaving because i don't want to be late like i don't want to have a late night and stuff you know and i woke up so early so i just want to leave relax mag and bean is closing that's for sure so i must actually my game being closed at like six. Mm. Okay, but I'm gonna go to get the car first. I'll come back and deal with that because I want cake. We'll see. I'll be back, guys. Smart clock, but it's okay. Better late than never. I'm actually gonna change my strategy, but I'll tell you guys the strategy next Sunday if it works. So stay tuned for that. But you guys I have a package. It's baby's first PR. <laughs> I didn't open it yet, but I saw the um the packaging label. And I saw like zero three months. And I was like, baby clothes! So I have to vlog this. Baby's first PR. Wait, Alyssa's texting me, Alexa's texting me, Shaw's texting me. Everybody's texting me. So I gotta read the note because it's handwritten, so I gotta read it. Arnell, the posh peanut family is expanding. The perfect combination of fashion and function for ages newborn to 24 months. We are thrilled to introduce you to PARS by Posh Peanut, made from our signature Papook bamboo fabric. Our new infant essentials line is as comfortable as it is classic. We hope you enjoy the clothes, baby basics. I cannot wait to see how you mix and match the styles.
Mm. 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 I was so hungry. Mm. I wish you were here because if you were here, I would not have starved for so long. But anyway, she's gonna take a bus. There's no other way. Um. This tastes different. Apple cake from Megan Bean, as usual. <laughs> Apple cake and red cappuccino. And then I bought Nando's. I'm having Nando's. And it's kind of subpar because, you know, it's kind of mid. First of all, I asked for berry chips. They didn't give me berry chips. Just give me regular chips. Which is upsetting me and the homegirls. Secondly, I don't have crockery in here. So I'm eating all of the Nando's wrappers because I don't have plates. But also the Mozambique paprika tastes kind of different. So I'm going to use the sauce of my dip because they didn't give me enough tomato sauce. I'm going to use the sauce over my chips. I must eat so good because I'm starving. And I didn't even think I was going to buy food today. I was like, ah, I'm going to save. I'm not going to buy food. Where? I'm so hungry. But from tomorrow, I don't think I'll buy food because I'm going to eat like at the venue and stuff. But I might need to. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm trying to get my gains back because I lost so much weight. Plus the hot water I was drinking. I took my belly down, but with the rest of my weight. So I'm trying to like get back on weight. back from sorting out the car situation they almost got up my nerves they almost they almost got on my nerves but yeah i did get a um, i don't want to talk about it because it's going to irritate me from scratch i did get the corolla it's actually a really nice drive it is an automatic but it's actually a really nice drive so that the clutch the the accelerator is a bit too soft so when you step on it, it goes, yeah. um not like wheel but like you know the power it's just because my i guess the pedals on my car are pretty hard so you gotta step on her so this one is a bit well, the brake is not so bad <clears throat> it's not so soft but the um, the thing is the accelerator anyway i finished my nando's it was not bad at all it was decent you know pretty good but it wasn't the best but i i ate it up i busted down look at that like i said there's no crockery so if i want plates i must go downstairs to the restaurant and i don't want to do that so i just ate all of these papers don't judge me if you feel it's unhygienic cool or cool but this is how I ate. I finished everything, child. I ate my chips. My garlic roll is... Why does this feel so heavy? Oh, this is where the chicken was. There's still some sauce in there. But yeah, the garlic roll is in here. Anyway, I'm watching some Arnel. Arnel Armand. And she is a preggy baby. Oh, she's so cute. She is so, so cute. But she's pregnant. I'm having now my tea. I'm probably gonna have my cake because I am not that full. But also, I was so hungry, guys. I could not even talk to you guys before.
boyfriend loves that song. The whole album. It's really quite honest. Like he loves that album so much. And he puts me on. Um I'm gonna wash my face and show you guys what I used to wash my face. It's late now, it's like 18 minutes past 10. I wanted to be sleeping at this time. But while I was in the bathtub, because I need the bathtub. I got on a call with Bay, and we we chatted it up a little bit. That's why it's late. I use Epimex Baby and Junior Cream to wash my face. So I didn't wet my hands or anything. I may be a bit sweaty because the bath water was so hot, but I rub it in my hands and I rub my face. Right. So I'm giving you guys the secret cream. Put a rub it in my face like that, right? Like the aqua's cream. You can use any aqua's cream, provided it doesn't make you react. So I would advise non-scented aqua's creams. I used to use the Bennett's one, and then um, I changed my baby from this to E45. So then I started using this and. Shave kisses. Yo, it's really, really good on my skin, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys can see how well my skin is doing. Then, what I used to do is I put a cream on my face like this, and then I use it as a cleanser. So then I'd rinse it, and then come and wash my face with my second cleanser. I don't do that anymore. So put it on my face like this, and then... Where's my cleanser? Then I go in with my new goat, Holy Grail, CeraVe. I use the foaming one because it's for normal to oily skin. So because I have oily skin, I use this one. Use the one that's right for you. If you have dry skin, use the hydrating one. If you have uh, pimples, use, I forgot what the other one is, it says, the other one that is but I think it says acne prone, I think. I'm not sure. So I put it on my hand like that. It's supposed to be foaming. Now I saw this other lady post something that she said on on Instagram. She says she showed on says she saw it on TikTok where it says if you use your foaming cleanser. So specifically your foaming cleanser, if you use your foaming cleanser dry, not foaming it. So I'm not gonna put water as is on your skin, it does wonders and I'm sure we can see. So, rub that in my hands and put it on my face. Literally. It's crazy. It's literally a life changer. Then, I wet my hands. I'm just gonna run this. This water is cold, huh? Cold. Okay. And then I wet my hands. I'm not gonna I just wet my hands and I go. So basically I'm rubbing those two products together and activating them all with water. Right? Rub them in, rub them in. Jeez, 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 Louise. I'm telling you guys, this has transformed my skin. I don't want to lie. which I saw K arms do. I've done that and I do wash my my sponge but I also throw them away very often and very regularly. So I buy like the the five pack from this game and yeah 
and that's what I use to dry my face. Sometimes I just leave my face wet to air dry. That's my squeaky clean face. That's how I wash my face. Now to tone and stuff. I'm gonna put you guys a down here. Uh, to tone, I still, if you're an OG, you know. I still use my Eucerin toner. I swear by it. Until I find something, obviously, that knocks her out of the game. Because I'm seemingly finding things that are knocking my Eucerin products out. But I don't want to lie, it's, it's not easy finding things that knock my Eucerin products out of the game. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm just down to the toner, though. But after a lot of hard work, I won't lie. Anyway, tone, tone, tone. If it's exfoliating days, I swap this out for the exfoliator. I never use all three at once. It will always be either these two or these two. So if I'm exfoliating, I do exactly say what I did with the Aquas cream. I use this dry, I put it on. I don't recommend that if you have dry skin though. Like I put it on my hand, no water, and I go in on top of the Arcus cream, and then I wet my hands. I don't like go with water. I wet my hand, and then I activate the product do, 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 for a while, and then I go and rinse it off, and I wipe it off with my sponge. With my sponge, capish. I've toned. Now after toning, I use this short expensive thing. Okay, I use this. My SD Loader Advanced Night Repair, guys. This thing is so expensive, and I'm running out. Ne? I don't know. I think though, I want to try the Nivea Luminous What What for what's left of my dog marks because my skin needs a shock. Like, I can't use the same product all year round. Like, I need to change my products and shock my face a little bit. So, even the Aquas Cream. I do sometimes stop with aquas cream and just use a cleanser alone. Especially, it's crazy. But in winter, for some reason, the combo doesn't work as well. But in summer, it works amazing. Which is weird because in winter, I'm expecting my skin to be drier and need the aquas cream. And guys, but I do three drops of the advanced night and then I rub it in. This is my serum. Also, I don't know, I think I also said this in the other clip where I was showing you guys the exfoliator, the scrub that I use. I used to use the Eucerin scrub as well, and it got knocked out by this Bionic one. But, um, oh, I actually didn't show it today, so let me show it properly. Guys, a goat. An absolute goat. I don't know actually if that clip and this clip are going to be in the same vlog. So, I'll just add a write up there if it's in the previous vlog. <sighs> then, always, always, always go to on your marking decolletage or whatever this is called and your neck. Go to healthy. Anyway, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna tidy up and then I'm gonna put on my moisturizer. So, no more do. If it's daytime, I use moisture surge, which I also spoke about the other day. I go in with my moisture surge during the day and then I go in with sunscreen. That is my skincare routine. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, some people go in with multiple serums, they go in with multiple toners, baby time. They go in with toners and I forgot what they call this thing, I'll write it down. 
I just this is what I do. Ne? So tonight now because it's night time I'm gonna go in with my Bionic moisturizer. And that's my skincare. Okay, so now I am putting on my moisturizer. I use a decent amount. It's not that lot that much. I put that on my sweater and I feel so good guys Yo, and I even want to fall asleep during this because it feels so good my skin feels so good and it's because I exfoliated this morning so this morning was scrub day today was scrub day and I scrubbed in the morning and like I said when you scrub make sure you put on sunscreen another tip I saw on Instagram so I've been trying a lot of those tips from instagram i'm scared to try tiktok stuff but i saw that lady do the video of what she saw on tiktok and i like i didn't try it like directly on my face but i tried it on top of the aqua cream and it seems to be working really well so guys that is my skincare routine that is me i actually really absolutely love this makeup this moisturizer i don't want to lie to you guys i absolutely adore it on days when I do remember to wash my face or when I do get a chance to wash my face I am chuffed to use it because right now I'm using um, moisture surge but they are the girls pajamas it says brunch in bed kind of girl in my pants my laptop is ready and the clothes that I just took off I can't open my oh there we go and that is then the final skincare it's going to nwell and nwell in my skin but I will have a nice shine um yo I actually should have I should have went to I should have gotten water from the garage, but there's water in here, but it's hot. And it's just a lot of months. I feel the need to drink water, and I don't want to drink tap water. But yeah, actually, let me be out of the light a little bit. But this is how my skin looks, guys. Sun banana bop. <laughs> Hey guys, today is Thursday and it's my last day in Dubai. I leave tomorrow and this is my outfit for today. This is my outfit. Oh, not me falling on the wardrobe, but this is my outfit. My mama bought me this dress. It's from True Words. Kind of like the color. But anyway, she bought me this dress from True Reds and then I just put it with my Zara black and nude and perspex heel. Um, a lady asked me today, how do I wear a heel for so long while doing my job? Because I work standing. And like, I'm used to it. Like, you get used to it. And she's like, also, but your body is lighter. You know, we're heavy. I'm like, I guess. But anyway, I didn't bring flats outside of my. These are actually slippers. Outside of my slippers. And. You know what? We're gonna have to do these slippers. Because it, otherwise, it's these. And I'm not wearing those. So, slippers it is. Then. I've been back for a little bit now, not too long. It's like seven now. Been back for a little bit. Um, I'm kind of tired. Yo, guys, let me tell you guys about how beautiful my sleep was. Where is that light of mine? Yeah. Let me tell you about how good I slept last night. I slept like a baby. I don't know if I recorded this. I think I did, but I took a bath, right? And then I, yeah, I recorded my skincare routine last night then 
I had been talking to my boyfriend while I was in the tub, right? And then he says he's going to shower. Like he's sharp. And then, um, um, cause I was talking to him whilst I was just chilling in the bathtub. So he let me a tea and I sat in the tub. I was on the phone with him. I was on a video call with him the whole time we were talking. Sharp. And then I'm like, I looked at the time and it was 10 and I'm like, ha, babe, let me quickly get out of this water. I need to sleep because I was extremely tired. My back was so sore and I knew that I had an early morning. Sharp. So I was like, let me get out. He's like, okay, Sharp, I'm also going to go shower. So I got up and then I recorded the skincare, guys. The skincare thing for you guys. Sharp. Then my boyfriend says I look younger these days. I look like a 2000. And you know what? I ain't mad at that because the age I'm turning this year is scary. I shop then. Like when I think about the age I'm turning, guys. Yo. Bless my soul. But I just turned the age I am now. I just turned it like yesterday, you know. This month, give me a My friends are birthday. Bagbala, they're starting. And they're turning a very scary age. Mm. You know what? If you have a later birthday and you're younger and you get annoyed by the fact that your birthday is like September, October, November, December, don't. Because when you're older, it's going to work in your favor. It's going to work in your favor. Ha! Anyway, I got dressed after speaking to you guys. I got in my pajamas and I immediately got in bed. I just tidied up the room um because i didn't want to run around at night in the morning and then i got in bed now and then i called my boyfriend again no he called me or something i can't remember i see a phone alarm again this time it was a video call we're talking on the phone we're talking on the phone we're talking on the phone oh i was watching tiktok i was in bed watching tiktok this lady talking about um the early years of your children and like what to do and what not to do and then he calls me. Oh yeah, he called me. He called me while I was watching TikTok. And then hey, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. Like, we talk proper, ne? Year eleven. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. Next thing he's like, hey babe, let you should sleep because you have to wake up early in the morning. And load shedding because he had load shedding on his like, He's like, and load shedding is coming back. The electricity is coming back this side. I'm like, what you mean? He's like, yeah, it's coming back now at twelve. I'm like, it's two twelve. It's almost twelve. He's like, yeah, but the damage was already done. So I we continue talking, guys. I have no. I, I felt myself getting sleepy, ne? but I don't remember sleeping. I don't remember like falling asleep. Next thing I hear, hello. I'm like, hey, bo. I oh, I pop up. I'm like, I fell asleep. I'm like, babe, I fell asleep. He's like, yeah, and I've been saying hello. Like you just stopped responding, and he was telling me about Semangmang Sebastian or what Kimang. And then I'm like, what are we talking about? I'm trying so hard to remember what we're talking about because I feel so bad for falling asleep. And I'm like, oh, you were telling me about Sebastian. He's like, no, girl. Mm -mm. Sleep. So anyway, he's like, just sleep. You're tired. Yeah, I sleep. Guys, I had the best sleep of my life. Like, I have not slept so good in a long time. Uninterrupted sleep. No baby crying. No man waking you up. If you know what I mean. Look. I thought I slept. I thought like the best sleep was when I'm sleeping with my man. But last night. Hands down. Like also I was so tired. Because it's been such a rough couple of weeks. Not having a nanny. Having to look after my son. Da -da 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 -da. I was tired. Okay. Moms. Please. You need rest. And when you have it, when you get it, take it, grab the opportunity with both hands. But I slept so good. I couldn't believe it. I had to be up at 6.30 because I wanted to do my makeup. As you can clearly see, I didn't do that because I woke up at 8. I kept snoozing my alarm until um, 10 to 8. And I was like, if I, if I don't get out of this bed right now, if I don't get out of this bed right now, <laughs> big wala. So, I got out of bed, I showered, and got dressed, did what I need to do, and got the hell out of here. Um, you know that I had a long day because work, I had a big inconvenience, 
you and things don't work but anyway i came back and i'm mad tired i'm actually i'm not as tired as yesterday i fell asleep on the couch while watching arnell's video um i woke up and tabi saying my toilet is speaking and i'm like what's going on but yeah so now i'm gonna go find something to eat unlike yesterday i'm not hungry because i ate we had for lunch a chicken wrap so i didn't finish mine i finished mine when i came back when i got back here at the hotel my boyfriend is texting me i'm seeing you baba Okay, sing really much. I got myself. Um, I'm not dressed, but I got water. And I wanted cold. You know, last night when I wanted to sleep, I needed cold water. But also, this is cold already. Let me put it here to just calm down a little bit. I got orange juice and obviously eat tea because. Who am I without tea? And then I got. I wish I knew. I almost dropped my burger. I never eat the fries from McDonald's. I don't like them. I don't like McDonald's fries. Like they just don't bang for me. But anyway, I got a Mac Chicken Deluxe though. I got a Deluxe. So I didn't get an ordinary Mac Chicken, but I got a Mac Chicken Deluxe. And if you are wondering, you can ask me, McDonald's connoisseur, McDonald's expert, as to what deluxe means. So, at McDonald's, they have something called deluxe. Now, I don't know if it's for all in the meal, um, or like the burgers and stuff, but I know there's some where they have a standard and a deluxe. But I have noticed, so previously, back in the day, they used to have both on the menu. They'd show you McChicken, and then they show you mexican deluxe so you'd know that there's two now they don't do that anymore they don't show the deluxe so that means either the deluxe is not just on specific items but on everything so like you can request deluxe on everything or they just don't care to advertise deluxe anymore if you know you know you'll ask for deluxe and if you don't you don't i don't know which one it is i'll ask i'll ask one day at mcdonald's if i remember but deluxe just means cheese and tomato yes so there's a make chicken which is literally a bun a patty a chicken patty well lettuce that sauce the white sauce and a patty and a bun that's a make chicken make chicken deluxe is the bun lettuce sauce patty tomato and cheese and then the other bun that is what we pay for and you pay extra for deluxe obviously but most of the time i just have an ordinary mcdonald's um mcchicken but then there's those times where i feel like today i want a mcchicken deluxe i hear my phone going ring, oh but i couldn't find it um <laughs> My nanny she sends me voice notes <laughs> she sends me voice notes and videos she's the cutest i'm so grateful for this new nanny that i have you guys my skin guys my skin if you if you're gonna take one thing out of this video is to wash your face with aquas cream if there's one thing you're going to take out of this let me try this outfit and show you guys this is my outfit we all know this top i'm wearing these jeans from cotton on and then i'm wearing these shoes these are actually my christmas shoes my boyfriend bought me christmas clothes <laughs> so these are the shoes he bought me for christmas from zara they're cute so that's my look this is my look. I've lost weight, so my jean is sitting a bit funny here it's doing these things. Um, but, okay. That's the look. Uh, I didn't show you guys 
on me. Let me hold on to my screen. I didn't show you guys the look yesterday, but um, yeah, because oh, yesterday I put on the other top that I was meant to put on and it was too cropped, and it is still a work day. Um, I'm going to see clients, so I was like, yeah, no, this top is too cropped, so luckily I picked this one as a backup just in case. So this one ended up working very well. Um, otherwise I would have had a disaster like last time I was in Durban and my clothes did not fit me but that's because I was pregnant.